Hi guys, you know, quickly before the tutorial starts, I want to say that today we're going to start um, with something simple like this, just using the pen and doing some cutting. Um, if you want to learn more about the design space or actually setting up your joy, please click at the very end of the video. There will be a uh, end cap with or end screen with the uh, information there. You can click on that video or in the description box. I'll put that in there. YouTube was having a really hard time uploading yesterday and the day before, so it kept eating my videos. So it didn't release till almost midnight and obviously it didn't get as many views as it normally would, but it's getting there now. So I just want to make sure you guys see that video that I didn't get buried under new videos that I'm piling on top of it. So that information will be there. And then right now we will just get started. Okay guys, so this might be a little bit weird, but I really just realized Cricut Joy is not the easiest thing to film. So I uh, have my computer set at tablet mode, so I just flipped it around so I don't have a keyboard here. It's just the thing here, and I don't even know what it's showing you guys right now. But anyway, so some of these things, what is that, an old picture? I don't know what that is. Um, I'm going to open up the Cricut Joy application. Today what we're going to do is make a card front without the card bundle right now because HSN has not shipped it yet and um, this way you can kind of see you can make a card front without the mat it's just that you're gonna have to put that card front onto a card um, separately so what I wanted to do this and why I want to do this is that we can use the pen and we can see how it writes and of course um, the bundle I picked up with HSN has some other pens so it doesn't have to just be the black one but this is the basic bundle and I just want to show you guys how we can use that and our basic mat and I'll just get a piece of paper and we'll try to use one of their cards so we have to go into um, design uh, space here and I'm just trying to see how this computer I have never used this as a tablet so that's kind of funny I'm like how do I find my Cricut on here so let me find that and I'll, I'll load it up Okay, so I just go into all apps and that's on this computer. I do want to mention I updated my uh, Mac also for Cricut Design Space and it would not work on the Safari side. And I've had issues like that with um, YouTube too. YouTube is like, no, nope, we're not doing Safari. So I have to go to Chrome. So just so you know, if you try to upload, uh, fix your Mac, you have to take, um, go onto a site, obviously that'll work. And then you have to say that you want to grab it once you download the the new uh, application because it's a little bit different if you're brand new to Joy or if you haven't used it in a long time, the design space. You have to take it and drag it into your applications folder, which is really weird. It's really dumb because it's there. You can click on it, but it won't work right until you drag it to your applications folder. And then it does some more stuff and kind of uploads and does other things and then shut it down. And the next time you click it, it's going to do what it needs to do. But you have to... By that time it will open up in Safari, but like for the download and all that, for some reason it won't work in Safari. At least that was my experience. So I'm just letting you know in case you have that problem. So I'm gonna click on new project. And um, you know, we have our space here. So I'm gonna click over here on projects because if you click on, um, well, I don't really want, like I said, a tutorial about design space. I'm sure there's tons of tutorials out there on design space. So this isn't really what I'm going for, but um, if you click on images, I just really quickly want to tell you, if you have anything already uploaded on here, like when I used to upload my Gypsy here, or if I ever use my Explore, um, or my Expressions plugged in, or my Explore Air, and you had a cartridge, you can load your cartridge to this uh, design space, and you can still do that with your machine, with your old machines, right? Because you have to put the cartridge in there. Or it says with the uh, cartridge adapter, which I don't know what that is, and I don't have one. Well, maybe I do. Cause that's how we used to do it with the Gypsy. I wonder if that same adapter that you used to use for your Gypsy is what you click on here and now you can use it. I don't know, I haven't tried that. But you have your search, you have cartridges, you have filters. So if you wanna filter only the things that you already have that you own that are free, you can click on those things and it'll filter that way. Or you can click on cartridges. And that's what's really cool. So all the cartridges are gonna be on here, even ones that you can buy for $6, $20, whatever it is, uh, five bucks. But if you click on filter, go ahead and just say my images or free or purchased, so purchased free and my images I think would be the best things and it'll only be the ones that you can access because they are yours. So let me click on purchase and I'll show you like here, I have Alphalicious, I don't even know what that is. I mean, I have tons and I was like, really? I don't remember ever uploading these bits because they were on my Gypsy, so that's what it is. Supposedly, like I said, when the Imagine uh, was ditched by Cricut. I was supposed to have all of those and I don't really see those kind of cartridges on here, but Creator Critter, Country Fair, Close to My Heart, All My Art Philosophy Things, Cindy Leo, Cindy Lou, which is a cute one. So they're all in here, Close to My Heart Artiste, um, Cake Basics, which was with the Cricut <laughs> cake. Oh, I forgot to mention, I have the Cricut cake too. Oh, what a bummer. Um, you can still use that as a regular machine though. It doesn't have to have the cake thing. So we have lots of stuff on here, but for, for the images, right? And you can manipulate that. But I'm gonna click on projects over here 
So I press the tab that says projects and there's tons of things here. Now, oh, they're so cute, all right? So you click on one and then it's gonna tell you you need to pay for it. What was that? It's gonna tell you that you need to pay for it. So um, let's go ahead and um, search projects. Well, oh, no, huh, all categories. And I'm gonna go straight to free for Cricut Joy, but you can also click on free. You can click on whatever you want if you wanna pay for them or if you, know, you have credit on here. A lot of times Anna Griffin, all her cartridges that I bought from h and came with credit and I never used them. So I probably wasted like 40 or 50 bucks of credit. I've never even tried to use. Uh, so I'm gonna click on free for Cricut Joy. And then you can see all these different things, but I wanna use the pen. So I'm looking through here and I was like, well, I mean, we can do a label, but I'm not really ready to do labels. I don't feel like using that label stuff, but we will do that. We will get to it. And the next video is gonna be vinyl. And if I get the card bundle, obviously I'm gonna review the card bundle, but not if I get it, when I get it. So I was kind of looking through here and I came across a card that, see all these, they just cut and then you put a, an insert behind it. But I came across one that had ink, like it was drawn and it had, um, I like this T-Rex one. Hope you can kind of see that. So let me find it again. I don't. I remember being towards the top. I probably already passed it. Oh, here it is. This thank you floral card. I thought that was really pretty. So I'm going to click on that. Now, let's see what happens. So um, it has your information there. It tells you all this stuff. It already has like almost 2,000 favorites. People love it. <laughs> and you can also cut this on your regular machine, okay? So I'm going to use the mat. So even with just using this regular mat, I have to make some adjustments. So if you're just using your Explore, your Explore Air, your expressions, you know, whatever it is that you want to use, you can still cut these. And you can, what I would do is take your card. Let me see. I have this blank card here, but this card is kind of funny. Let's say you have your card. Just go ahead and you don't even have to bone fold it yet. But if you bone fold it, you have your card, open it up, lay it flat. And on your mat, when you go to cut, say you want it to be cut over here and you can cut it. <laughs> so that's why with the joy, it's like you literally can only cut certain sizes, but on a bigger machine, you can do whatever you want. You can still use the same functionality and just cut it on this side. You're going to do your cutting and then you put your insert in. So just know you can still use these same things if you want on your other machines. Um, so, okay. Uh, because what happens is you can choose the project. You can choose the project even without the joy and the top. We'll talk about that in a minute. So it tells you some information, but I'm just going to click on make it. And it's going to drop it into my space here. It's taking a minute. How are you guys doing? It's kind of a weird day. It started off foggy and then kind of odd. And then, oh, I was walking the kids to school and I saw a mouse run across the street. A mouse run across the street. I've never seen that in my life. I've never seen a mouse that's not just over there by the school. He ran across a four-way lane, you know, four-lane road across us, right in front of us, like two feet away and into some bushes. I was like, oh my God, so gross. <laughs> I am really like ooh, squeamish when it comes to stuff like that and I could not believe what I was seeing I was just like and this guy was walking behind me I'm like I can't believe I just saw that and he just starts laughing because like how anyway okay so here we are guys we have review artwork so this is going to be cut it says draw and cut right so there's two different things it says on card mat because it's assuming you're using the card mat with the sleeve but I'm not so I'm going to switch this out to on mat and it also has without mat so I guess if you want to cut this out on vinyl or something I don't know why you would do that but you can do that or some of the other specialty um, items so it says the material size is four and a quarter by five and a half um let me press this real quick you can also do four and a half by six and a quarter but I was gonna go with the smaller size, but you can also uh, um, size it up, right? So I can click on the four and a half by six and a quarter, but um, I'm gonna go with the little guy. And so it's showing you here, and it says, are you sure you wanna proceed? Changing material size may result in a non-optimal mat arrangement, which will require you to manually move objects or move images between mats. And I would say, yes, that I'm sure I wanna do this, <laughs> okay? And as you can see, I don't have to move anything right now, to be honest. I can just leave it here, and that's probably what I'll do. I'm going to cut a piece of paper that's the whole size, just so I can hit everything, but I know it's not going to cut down in this bottom part. But I'm still going to cut my paper um, to fill the whole mat, so four and a half by six and a half. And I'm going to do that right now, because we, when I press continue, it's going to want to start doing its work. So let me grab some paper, and I'll be right back. Okay, <laughs> that's so funny. I pressed to record and my computer turned off. But anyway, all right, so we're gonna use our mat and we are gonna have to switch this out. So I do have two tripods, luckily. So what I'm gonna do is take my camera from this one, put it on the other tripod so I can show you the joy and then come back over here. So we're gonna have to switch back and forth a couple times. I might just hold it in my hand. I did set up the tripod. Well, no, I'll do the tripod. All right, so let's say continue. Well, actually, yeah, let's just say continue. 
and it says to connect the machine. My machine, machine's already plugged in, so it's just on, right? Um, it's been a, sitting there for a minute, though. And this is just junky cardstock. So this is Recollections cardstock, which is the worst, I'm going to tell you right now. When I go to peel this off, it's going to, like, curl up really bad. Um, and that's kind of one of the reasons I never really use the whole, like, to make a card on my Cricut, because it just curls up, and you have to, like, lay it down and make sure, you know, you're going to be... Um, good lighter so uh pressure default that's fine it says load black pen in clamp and then load mat into machine right and then i have to press go so let's go ahead and take this off oopsie sorry guys and it's a little bit dark i turned off the lights so it wouldn't glare on my uh computer screen here but um so sorry about that i'm gonna place this on here and before i press go we're gonna go to load our pen and then load the mat into the machine and then um, we'll come back to click go. So um, let's go over to the machine. Okay, it says to make sure our pen is in here. So I'm going to open this up. And all you're going to do is flip this. And hopefully it's not too dark, guys. Sorry. The lighting has to change. Everything has to change as I'm working with this. Um, and maybe in the future videos, I'm not going to come over and see, the, see this little guy. But all we're going to do is pull this up, put it down, take your pen. It has like a fine tip and pop it in and you don't have to adjust it. you don't have to do anything you don't have to do anything funky that's kind of what i like that about this but um that's pretty much all the functionality and then i'm going to take my mat which does not matter which direction i put this in it's exactly the same and then my piece of paper is exactly the same so that part doesn't matter and i'm going to push it a little bit so it takes it and it's going to do that little measuring it needs to do and it's ready to go so i'm not going to go back to my computer screen because literally now it just says click go so i'm going to click go so go and then we'll see what this thing does. It's preparing, it says. Oh, that's really pretty. I like that it's a fine pen. Um, you know, it's funny that I look at this. I, I was out in my garage and I was looking for something else for my busted out videos. And I found um, Cricut markers, uh, which I never used. And I opened one just to see if it still had ink. Where are they? See, I already misplaced them even coming in here. That's somewhere. Where did I put them? Anyway, it just says, uh, Cricut Color, I think is what it said. <laughs> and there's like those little tiny markers. But that's the other bummer about this is that you literally have to buy new pens because it doesn't fit the ones that they've already made for the other machines. Um, I think it would be nicer if they had designed it <laughs> to hold the other pens. Like, why not? But, oh well. So it's doing its thing. I will come back in just a minute when it stops. It was pretty much ready to stop there. So now it says to install the fine point pen is what it says on my screen. And you'll see that on your own screen. I, I, this, I hate to switch back and forth, but well, okay. So it just says to switch out your pen. So I'm gonna take this out. Let's see, cap that. And put this guy back in. You don't have to do any direction. Just pop it in and click that. And the screen, like I said, it said to go ahead and do that. It says load fine point black i'm oh, sorry install fine fine point blade oh my gosh in clamp and i just click go because that's all i did i just put in the blade and it's preparing and now it says it's cutting so sorry i don't know if you guys want me to go back and forth like to show you the screen i think the most important part was picking out the thing and showing that part because literally the rest is just it's right in front of you it says what to do and that's what it told me to do and i click go clicked go and here we go. It says 23% finished, so I guess we'll just let it go since this is kind of quick. Yeah, I don't know what's taking so long for the other items to ship, but we will see the card making bundle. I would have loved to have that at the same time. <laughs> So again, this could be any project. I mean, you can put your stuff on there, you can size it up. Again, that's really learning how to use the the uh, software than anything else. But it's pretty user-friendly. I mean, you can see where there's measuring. If someone you can just grab it and shrink something or enlarge it. This thing said if I switched out to this, it might mess it up, but it looks pretty perfect. So I didn't have to move anything, you know? So, and even if I did, to be honest, this was all one thing. It was uh, cut, like put in there as one item. You, if you moved it, it would all move together. So it's not a big deal. So now it's done and it says complete on my screen and I can just click unload. And let's go back to our work surface. Okay, so we're here. I'm going to remove my computer. 
because we basically don't need this anymore. At this point, I don't need it anymore. And I did cut another piece of paper to go behind this one at four and a quarter by five and a half and just shy of four and a quarter and five and a half, just a little bit smaller, just in case. We are gonna have to cut this down though, but let's go ahead and remove it from our sheet. And I always try to do this with, not just pulling it, but with one hand, try to be gentle. Ooh, that thank you can be used for something else. It's very cute. So you see? How pretty. And I was gonna eyeball cutting this, even though we know the size of this thing, obviously I need to cut it down right here. But what I think is what I'm gonna do is go ahead and take my little guy and insert it on the back. So we're just gonna slide that in. And I think it's a little bit, well, is it a little bit big? Yeah, that's what I thought. I was gonna say, I think these need to be a little bit smaller. So let me cut this down just a little bit, like the smallest amount. So if we did four and a quarter, let's do four. Oopsie, I'm just gonna cut the wrong one already. Okay, so let's do about four by five and a quarter. I'm assuming that should work. So I'm gonna put this in here just so I can kind of see what's going on and then I'll cut down the card and it gives me a little more heft on the card. Yeah, so that's perfect. So four by five and a quarter is probably the size that you're back the mats on the back and you can make your own obviously card blanks you don't have to buy their card making bundle so this is another um idea or a way to see that obviously this is just a card front because of the way i did it but if you had a whole sheet and you put in your card mat you would just fold it over your standard a2 size card and go from there um so now what i'm going to do is just cut this down a little bit because now I can kind of see what's going on. And basically, I'm going to cut it at four and a quarter. Because on this side, I didn't mess with it at all. So this side should be exactly the, what you need for it to be good for a four and a quarter card. I can see it's a little bit crooked. Oy, I'm telling you. There we go. And by five and a half. And I am measuring from, obviously, the sides that I know are correct. So there's our little card front. It's really pretty. It's very cute. Very nice to make a quick card. Again, if you have a larger machine, you can run the same thing through your machine with a full size card and you don't have to use this little tiny card. But this works out. If you have the card making bundle, obviously you would just use the mat with the card making bundle and you would have your card folded in half, slide it into the pocket, right? Making sure it's bumped up. And then the top of your pocket has the stickiness to it. So when you put it in, you slide it in, it's gonna stick on the top of the pocket. So um, the pen works really great. I mean, that's really lovely. Look at that. Obviously, it even looks handmade, which, you know, because of the way the pen works. But I mean, I'm in, impressed by like here where the pen ended, it has like a little bolita, like a little ball, <laughs> a little bolita, we would say in Spanish. And, um, and it looks really nice. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully that'll show you how quickly and easily to use the pens. Of course, you have different colors uh, depending on the project you're doing and all that. But um, this is lovely. And what I would do is I would just stick this like on a white card base or something if I am going to use this now. Um, just stick it down. And then you have your card with a card front. Or you can pop this up so it's the two layers of the card that's a little bit larger. You know, however you want to use it. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. The next one will be some vinyl work. And then we will um, hopefully get the card making bundle in. If you want to see some labels being done, that's great. Let me know. I mean, it's basically the same thing. It's a smart material. You're just going to use the pens. And then after that, it's going to cut whatever it is uh, that your label shape is and keep going. So thanks for watching, guys. I will see you at the next one. Bye now.